So I'm here with Dr. Mazzoni, and she's super happy to be talking to us today. Uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you, and, and we're at Ethos Spa, uh, and, and Ethos Spa has been really a great success story in a couple of different ways, which uh, I think this is an interesting story for a lot of people who might be interested in listening. This is a story about a practitioner leaving the practice. That's right. Being able to have the ability to go and do other things in their life. So Monica is Dr. Hardik Sonia's wife, and she's now uh, taken over uh, doing procedures in the practice. And, and Dr. Hardik Sony is out there doing other things that he's always wanted to do because he's able to leave the practice because they have enough business flow right now to continue the practice without his involvement. And I think this is a really cool story. Let's talk about where you got started, like where you got started in medical. <clears throat> so, um, my husband's an ER physician and I'm an anesthesiologist. Um, we, we had some free time mm -hmm. and uh, we wanted to actually open up a business and um, we thought this was a natural progression because it involves both the medicine and a little bit of, you know, our um, um, business um, <clears throat> curiosity that we mm -hmm. wanted to explore. So, we just thought it would be easier than to open a coffee shop or, you know, something like that. We can still apply our medical, um, a little bit of our medical field into it. And, uh, you know, we treat it just uh, as medicine. You know, we try to basically keep our patients happy. If business side comes after, for, you know, primarily we want to, you know, see our patients happy, um, you know, get them good results. So for us, you know, sort of a natural progression of our medical field. So what were you doing in with med when you were going through medical school and you met mm -hmm. Hardik, what, what were you doing with um, your, what were you thinking about? I mean, obviously you do anesthesi anesthesiology, right. mm -hmm. I mean, that's another piece of you know, yeah. your world, but mm -hmm. you guys met and what was the thought process of like career-wise? Um, well, we had never thought of opening a medical spa, right. you know. Uh, we had been married 10 years before we started this, so yeah. we had not thought about um, um, opening a business at all, but uh, we were introduced to this town summit um, through my daughter who mm. was going to private school here. And, um, you know, we loved the town and we just thought, you know, we wanted to, um, since we had some free time, we wanted to open a business and uh, that's how we started. Yeah. And what's amazing to me, and this is amazing to maybe other people, is that, you know, <clears throat> a lot of people think when they, especially in New Jersey, because you have got a brand here that you're this big huge spa but in reality you're just a mom and pop right. normal spa mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. takes care of you know right. hundreds of patients a month but mm -hmm. but not like you're some huge chain right but the perception of your brand right. is so ingrained right. uh, out there right. and so 10 years ago or when you guys got started i mean obviously there was ups and downs mm -hmm. Can you talk about how impactful the marketing piece was mm -hmm. in the in the beginning? Obviously, you had to start, you know, without a brand, but right. but but how now when people come to see you, what the value right. is? Well, marketing definitely plays a role. Um, you know, we did try sort of local paper marketing that never right. worked for us. Actually, okay. you know, what worked was uh, internet. Yeah. Um, and my, lately, my husband's gone into social media. Right. Definitely. So that's definitely worked for her. And you know, marketing is one part of it. And then when clients do come in here, yeah. we take care of them very well. You know, my husband uh, and my, you know myself and basically all our employees. We um, you know we give them uh, full attention. Mm -hmm. and try to, you know, it's that personal care right. that people are looking for. And, you know, I think that is what help, what's helped us uh, build our business. Yep. You know, and of course, we try to stay on top of, uh, like I said, social media mm -hmm. and internet marketing. And that has helped us a lot. <laughs> and the other thing that right. has helped us is the location. Of course. Believe it or not, you know, Summit is a great location and it attracts uh, clients from the nearby town. So, you know, we've been lucky that way. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that, that yeah. was just about... In kind of segue here is that you know, you've got such a great central right. location that's going to help mm -hmm. one of the things that we've helped sort of understand and this is sort of for people who are listening to this you know as the social networks grow and facebook and instagram mm -hmm. you know things become more <clears throat> relevant because it's hyper targeted because mm -hmm. people are on their phone 
like mm -hmm. this, like right. this, like this. Yep. And if you're local mm -hmm. and you can place local ads mm -hmm. and then you're getting people's attention mm -hmm. when they're local, mm -hmm. it's almost as if you are presenting in real time mm -hmm. to them that solution, whether it's a coupon off like 15% off the right. procedure or mm -hmm. getting them actually physically aware mm -hmm. of like how the procedure works. Right. But they're local, so they see it. And I think a lot of people think of just looking at the computer, like someone's looking at the computer and right. they're looking straight ahead and they're, oh, okay, that's, yeah, I got it. But in all reality, someone's driving their kids to the soccer practice, exactly. going somewhere else. Yeah. And, and the real zero moment of time, as they call it, is the fact when you're, you're literally getting their attention in a local area. And this is sort of food for thought. Right. Now, I want to take it back to the marketing stuff. Now, this, this was not an overnight success. Right. Right. Definitely. So 10 years, right? right. So, so let's talk about just a little bit of the ups and downs about mm -hmm. how sort of when you started and just, just give me a couple of, of, mm -hmm. of bullet point thoughts on mm -hmm. like, you know, the, the, the challenges you faced mm -hmm. and now sort of it snowballed into mm -hmm. what we see over 300 downloads of coupons a month. Um, literally like hundreds of phone calls coming in um, every month of new potential patients. Mm -hmm a whole litany of different procedures that you guys are doing based off mm -hmm. of, you know, how the market acts. So, you know, we did vampire facials when va vampire mm -hmm. facials were hot. You know, there's, there's something else mm -hmm. that will be hot this month, so we change them up. But just talk to me from the very beginning, sort of the ups and downs, and then to where you are right now, just a couple of minutes. Right. Um, when we started, uh, like I said, we did try some local marketing, paper marketing, things yeah. like that, and that did not work very well for right. us. Um, you know, we decided to go with more, concentrate more on the internet, you know, and social media. And that has worked well. Um, like I said, you know, in the beginning, of course, we weren't, and of course now a little bit of, is word of mouth too, you yeah. know, especially with the local clients, yeah. you know. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we know, it, of course, we were not busy in the beginning, <laughs> right. you know, um, but you know, we've slowly progressed. We've stuck, stuck through it. <clears throat> Sorry, and we've slowly progressed, and um, like I said, we take care of our clients, and um, you know, we're, we're lucky that we're busy now. All right. Yeah. So going back, do you, do you feel there was like certain <clears throat> times when you were like, oh, we had it? We oh, were... yes, definitely. You know, marketing. Uh, we've had to over the years. We've changed some marketing agencies. Not right. everybody worked out for us. Right. Um, you know. Um, you know, like I said, there were ups and downs. There were seasons that we weren't busy. Right. But, you know, we've learned, uh, you know, that certain seasons are not going to be busy and others are. We've learned, uh, you know, my, you know, we've learned how to sort of market too. Yeah. So, so we've learned. And uh, well, what's cool is that you guys now, I think, have gone through a phase. And, and we've been working for, with, with you guys for probably about a year, yeah. year and a half now. Mm -hmm. And But the concept is, is that when we first got started, we were actually doing just a couple of things for you. But now we've integrated this mm -hmm. entire machine that mm -hmm. literally just pumps all these leads. And the thing I see, which is great, mm -hmm. is that when I walk in here and I talk to your staff, I say, how is things going? And they're like, oh, you have no idea. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm like, that's a good That's thing. A good like thing. you yeah. want to have exactly. that. Exactly. You want to have that. Good to have patients, but and not always exactly. busy. Busy is not busy. Definitely. Right. And the investment is the issue. So a lot of the right. practitioners yes. we talk to, they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they know they have to do something right. as, if, as if they hesitate because right. they're afraid of the investment into mm -hmm. the, the marketing. And I'm, I'm thinking the opposite. I'm like, well, if you're not busy, why wouldn't you not want to invest? Right. And right. of course, there's always that give and take of, well, I only have so much budget. And, mm -hmm. and you guys have done the opposite, which is you said, you know, I want to put in as much as I possibly can. Right. And can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, um, it was my husband's philosophy that uh, you do, I mean, from the beginning, we have put in at least 10% of our budget or more right. into marketing. You yeah. know, in the beginning, up to 15 to 20%. Yeah. Um, yeah, because uh, you want to get that, uh, you want to get started, right. you know, with clients and then things will roll over into word of mouth, things like that. But if you don't right. have clients in the beginning, you know. I think you hit the nail on the head, which right. is that, yes, there's an initial referral base, without right. question. Everybody has their friends and friends right. of friends, and, and that all works. But right. at a certain point, it, there's elasticity where right. it, it stretches and then it's yeah. it. Yeah. So once you hit the next level, when you say, okay, look, let's let's bring in a whole group of new patients, right? right? right. And then that 
expands again. Right. And so the concept is if you do that consistently, the word of mouth mm -hmm. from the marketing creates sort of a momentum. Right. And you guys have that momentum now, as I've mentioned before, so that mm -hmm. the main practitioner, Dr. Artic Sony, can now leave. And that's the thing that I was like, you're going to leave? He's like, yeah. I'm like, what are you going to do? I don't know. Something else. <laughs> I'm like, well, who's running the practice? <laughs> oh, Monica will run it. I'm like, okay. Well, that's great. Uh, this is another success story. I mean, obviously, you know, you could get another practice and build another practice, or you could do what you right. guys are doing, which is, right. you know, he wants to do other things and, and you know, have a life. And mm -hmm. obviously, when you've been hands-on for 10 years, sometimes it's time to, you know, move right. on and do other things. Yeah. And although he's still part of the practice, it's right. just not as much as he right. would be normally participating. And right. that breath of life, of yeah, that breath of life goes right. and says, okay, great, we've got another right. chapter to work on. And mm -hmm. It also makes him expand. So when he comes back, he's got all these great new ideas. Now you guys are doing a product line, which is great. Right, right. So, he's concentrated on skincare line yeah. and, uh, you know, other things, like you said. And, and mm -hmm. that's the real story here, which is beyond just thinking about the marketing, which is, you know, the product sets that you create, all these things that can really create not only a business, but a lifestyle that you mm -hmm. really enjoy. Thank you so much. Okay. Nice talking to you. Thank you.